inside the wind chest for the pallet magnets just marking out where all the pallet magnets go not finished marking them out yet preparing to drill this is the wind chest ready to take the pallet magnets notice a little bit of timber in the back there so when we put the pallet magnet on we know we're exactly lined to the holes in the wind chest sorry about the darkness there there you go all perfectly covered time after time wind chest notice we've drilled the holes 4.5 millimeters in diameter and that's to allow us to, to put a 6 mil tap in so we get a nice good thread for putting the bolt in which is going to basically squeeze a pipe to regulate the air pressure to a particular pipe that's the uh, outer beading or should I say inner beading on ready to take the bottom of the wind chest just going to put all the magnets in there this is just to provide a good seal around the edge of the bottom of the wind chest with the seal so it's got a good service a good surface to adhere to and somewhere to screw the lid on right that's the uh, if you can actually see that in there, I'll try and get a bit closer for you. That's the air holes from within the wind chest. If you can actually just see these larger ones here, in the centre there's three of those, uh, you can actually see a, a tube coming through. I'll explain what that's for in a few minutes. But there's actually three of those for the largest base pipe, uh, base pipes, and then there's... Uh, to their 15 mil external diameter and 10 mil external diameter 10 mil and 10 mil so for 10 mil the rest are 8 millimeters in diameter 31 pipes in total so 31 holes top side of the wind chest as you can see 31 pipes sticking up these actually to feed each individual pipe they will just go into the back of the pipe but You'll see that on in later videos and in the plans. These are the pipes that I was just talking about that's slightly bigger. Um, these first ones are up to this point is 8mm in diameter. Uh, the next two are 10mm in diameter. And the three big ones in the middle, as I just explained from underneath, are in 15mm diameter. And then back down to 10 mil and 8 mil rest away. Reason for the rubber pipes. Now, I don't know if you can actually see these little holes here. We're actually going to put bolts in them. Can you give me one, please, Gary? And what we're going to actually do is put a bolt in there to restrict the air like so. These are all been tapped and dyed and threaded. And what that actually does is restrict the air pressure to each individual pipe. So basically just crushing the pipe, the plastic pipe down to prevent um, air or to actually put more air on. So if you can see that, more air pressure on I should say. So just tighten it in and out to, uh, out obviously to pr uh, provide more air in to restrict the airflow to each individual pipe. So there's 31 holes all threaded and they will have 31 bolts in which we're now going to do next there's the pressure regulator bolts all in Let's put it onto macro so you can have a better look at them that's them all fitting um, straight into a piece of uh, hardwood which is not what it looks like it actually looks like it's a piece of beech um, that they're screwed into it's not it's actually American oak. Very, very hard stuff. Uh, right, now just to show you how these work. 
going to do a little bit of a demonstration if I can. There's the hole. I'm hoping that's the hole we're playing on. Now I'm going to tighten that down to, to block the area off. And you can see the pipe crushing. Uh, I've got a very low torque setting on my drill at the moment. I don't want to damage any pipe. But you can see the effect that's what's actually happening. And I want to let more air in. And the pipe goes back a lot. Well, 31 pilot magnets installed. As you can see. You just go down onto micro and get a bit closer for you. Now you can see the reason for this back wall we put in here. It's just a little piece of soft wall we put in. It's just so when you look down it, they all look nice and neat in a row. Um, notice these particular ones, I spent a little bit extra on these. Uh, these have got um, adjustment for tension, tension screw. And that one's its travel screw. So in other words it stops them clunking when you very very quiet when they're actually being actuated um, I prefer them ones to the cheaper ones and if you notice we've got some big ones in as well um, like number 15 there look that's the base three big base pipes we've used three bigger pallets and number 80 pipe 18 there that's on the 10 mil diameter pipes and then we drop down to the 8mm smaller pallet magnet to suit the particular pipe. And there's a windshield complete with all the pallet magnets in and as you can see here we have the uh, flyback diodes on to stop any spirits sparks going back down into the MPT board. All the wiring goes down, terminates uh, on a board there but that's okay, I'll get that wired up next. Yeah, run down to the bottom end. And that's the where you just plug in to the uh, MIDI board just plugs straight in, carries the negative and everything in there and um, the diagram will explain a bit more of that for you but that's it, means you can take the, uh, the plate off and leave all this in situ so you're not messing about with any wires or anything if you need to get into the bottom for any reason but that's it, more or less finished not had it running yet but don't see any problem why it shouldn't 